They wanted you homeless. Page of presents. Five of presents reversed. You guys may have some new income or uh, an increase in your income. A raise. New job opportunities. It looks like someone's finances are getting better or their financial situations improving. So this is good news in, in terms of someone's abundance. You're not gonna be homeless, you're very abundant. Knight of Presence. You're very stable, hardworking, detail-oriented, possibly. You're, you're someone very consistent, very valuable, meticulous. You're, you're good. You're, not, you're nowhere near homeless. Six of Needles. They could have wanted you to worry about finances or uh, to have to worry about your home. There could be some kind of relief. You guys could be doing some kind of financial repair or credit repair. Or getting your life back together. Fourth presence. Yeah, this is all about stability. Material stability, financial stability. The tower. They possibly wanted um, a tower, a negative tower in your life. They possibly wanted you to have a fall or a disaster. Queen of Candles, you're very driven. You could be someone aspirational, goal-oriented, a self-starter. Empress. They possibly wanted an empress, a divine feminine energy to be homeless. Two of presents. Whoever wanted you homeless, they're just barely getting by, just barely making it. They could have very, very low income. The full reversed. The hanged man. Eight of needles reversed. They wanted you in fear, fear or feeling restricted, stuck. This could be the end of fears, worries, restrictions. It looks like there was some kind of temporary situation or temporary problems. Expectation, official person, courthouse, the 
great fortune, mature woman. You got blessings. What did you homeless? Mercury and Taurus. Yeah, you're a solid, steady person. You're all about um, your stability, security. All they think about is your stability, your security, your money and stuff. That's all they think about. Venus and Virgo. You love working. You love working or you love your job or what you do for a living. Let's look at this. Um, let's look at this Mercury and Taurus. These are both Earth placements. Mercury and Taurus material values. A statue of a bull made of stone remains rigid and a pose that is immovable and defensive. They possibly didn't want you working and stuff. You could have strong Taurus in your chart or Virgo. Behind a shrub blows in the breeze and a parrot chatters meaninglessly. In the sky, the symbol of Taurus appears almost like another bird flapping its wings. Mercury Taurians Thinking and decision making are closely allied to the practical material and common sense. They often have an extreme preoccupation with business and monetary affairs. Such personalities tend not to rush into action on new or speculative ideas and in fact are usually suspicious of concepts that threaten to change a present comfortable situation. The Mercury Torian I'm not sure how they how you guys say it. Uh, Torin, Torin, Torian displays a key powers of concentration and has a good mind for running a business or making things expand and grow. Mercury in the sign of the bull can, however, indicate an extremely obstinate attitude. This personality type bases his or her set of values on things that produce concrete results. Fly-by-night ideas have little appeal, and neither does wasteful chatter. This unflinching concentration on what is, to them, important gives such people an ability to ignore distractions and see only the tangible and profitable essence of a situation. This does not make such personalities mean. Comfort and life's pleasures are always of importance to them. Simply that the money-making aspect of a venture has to be based on sound reasoning. Often this card, when it appears in a reading, denotes a need to focus on financial thinking and could be an indication that the questioner must look at accounting, economics, or business advice. Alternatively, it may denote work in travel, transport, or the media. You guys, could be this could be something about drafting contracts, Haggles over document wording, insurance policies, discussions about beauty, art, or the need to take financial advice. So whoever wanted you homeless, you're, <laughs> you would do everything you need to do. Work real hard to make sure you're not homeless. <laughs> okay, uh, Venus and Virgo. I know Taurus do not be playing around. Anybody, not just Taurus sun sign, anybody who has strong Taurus placements. Okay, Venus in Virgo. Where's Venus? Okay. So we all know Venus is all about love. Virgo is about perfection and service. A woman, her hair garlanded, walks barefoot in the neat countryside. She reaches out towards the many butterflies 
A small fox barks. Virgo cares for and rules smaller, more delicate creatures. You guys could be someone uh, very detail-oriented too. Venus Virgo types romantically. Oh yeah, Venus is going to be going into Virgo soon for the collective. I think in about a month. I don't know. For Venus Virgo types romantically. It is important that partners share their intellectual interests. People with this planet sign combination may be in danger of analyzing their emotions to excess, though when positively directed, disability can be helpful to others in the form of relationship counseling. Their close friends are few, but selectively chosen. The Venus Virgo personality type shows great discrimination in choosing on whom and what to bestow their affections. When this is taken to extremes in a negative way, it can make them downright picky about potential friends and lovers. In many areas of life, however, this attitude strands this personality type in a good, in good stead. With a little more Venus extravagance added to the careful Virgo temperament, this person will make an excellent cook. Something to do with nourishment, pleasure, and Virgo perfectionism combines to make a great but ever modest chef or host. Virgos always show love in practical ways. Many of their social activities or romantic interests revolve around work or health. They may also be involved with artistic or alternative pursuits. It is important that the work surroundings of the Venus Virgoans are harmonious and beautiful, or life can get twitchy. They display good taste in clothes, and this aspect features in the birth charts of many fashion designers. When this card is picked, it shows the need to be ultra selective, using all powers of discretion to attain aims. This could be something about a close friendship that may develop further, a total makeover, or this could be a love affair with someone at work. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to be homeless. I don't see nobody in this energy being homeless. Some of you guys could work in the uh, legal system, court system. You could be a lawyer, an attorney. Wanted you homeless. Death. They wanted to bring an ending to something. Endless harm inevitable. Commitment. Yeah, you're real committed. Could be something about a contract too. They want you, someone wants you to stop being so committed to yourself or work or your stability or your security. It's because they don't want you having the abundance of the Empress. They want you to stop doing that kind of stuff. 